So you'll recall what we've done here is brought in all the style.css from thematic so that we can then build on top of that. Um, what does it mean that we're taking in all of this style.css? Well, let's take a quick look at thematic's um, style.css and see what it is exactly that we're importing. Um, if we go to thematic, we can take a look at their CSS. So this is the thematic CS style.css, and you'll see that it's perhaps shorter than you might expect. In fact, this part down here isn't even really needed. It's kind of a, uh, a workaround that they did. The main part of the CSS is really just these lines right here. And we can copy those real quick and um, bring them over to our own so we can look at them a little more closely. So we'll go back to ours. Actually, if we just hit enter, it should take us back. At least that hopefully. Maybe not. Uh, so we'll go back to ours. Uh, and we'll go ahead and add these, these calls in. Again, the actual thematic CSS is actually made up of a bunch of import statements as well. So what it does is it imports this, this CSS page, reset, which resets the browser to defaults. It imports a, 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 type, a set of typography from typography.css. It imports a layout, and then it imports some image styles and some theme styles, and then it prepares the theme for plugins. So basically what it does is it splits this into a bunch. We can't have this and this because it gets to be very confusing. Uh, but what we can do, note that these won't work here unless we go and look in the right directory, which is up, up, and then over to thematic. So if we do this, we can load in each of these. So why do more rather than less? Um, this approach is, is called um, a modular CSS, right? Because these are modules. They're, they're little pieces that we can sw swap in and out. Um, in many cases, we, you might, for example, um, not touch the typography one or the reset one. In fact, the reset one is probably one that you want on, on every one of your, um, your themes. But, for example, down here we have layouts, and one of the layouts here is to CR fixed um, CSS. And if we go over here, we can look actually built into to th thematic, uh, to thematic, sorry, is um, uh, are these uh, five uh, layouts that get kind of uh, put in with it right out of the, of the boat. So for example, if we open one of these, we can take a quick look um, and we'll see that this is a, a three column right layout. It's a 950 pixel fixed layout with two sidebars uh, right of content. So if we wanted our um, if we wanted our layout to look like that, we could just go in here and replace two CR fixed with instead three CR fixed, and we'd have a three column layout. It's that easy to kind of create a new layout for it, um, and that can be very very powerful. So um, it's it's more useful to do it this way. Chances are we might eventually get rid of the default styles because we'll end up overwriting a lot of them as we're doing our thing, but for now, we now have a bunch of things that we've loaded in, and we can then start, um, and we'll go ahead and do a couple here and say um, uh, child theme customizations. And remember, anything that comes later in the CSS can overwrite things that came earlier. So now anything that we want to change from these default modules, we can do in what follows. Just um, you know, we, could, we start with this as our starting point with these modules, and then we can change from there.